Hi, I'm Craig Mass. I teach Spanish here at Bethany Christian Schools. I've been teaching this is my second year teaching Spanish at Bethany. This is the first year in a while that we've had four levels of Spanish. Uh, so I do teach Spanish 1, Spanish 2, Spanish 3, and Spanish 4. Uh, with different class sizes. Spanish 1 is mostly just the freshmen, Spanish 2 mostly the sophomores, and then 3 and 4 rounded out with the juniors and seniors. One of the things that I really enjoy teaching in the Spanish classes is how we can connect our Spanish to the outside community. And so, for example, we take a lot of field trips, uh, making sure to take advantage of the fact that here in Goshen we have a lot of diversity already. We have restaurants, um, Hispanic businesses, that sort of thing, where we can go out and actually apply what we're learning in class uh, downtown. On that same note, you know, it's really important if we're going to be comfortable down there to be comfortable speaking Spanish in class already. And so one of the things I really enjoy is uh, having, especially in the upper levels, this understanding that when they walk through the door, it's time for Spanish only. And the kids really respect that, and we do a good job with that, and it gets them comfortable, it gets the brain thinking in Spanish. And in general, it helps them feel comfortable for when they leave Bethany. Something that's fairly experimental this year, uh, which has been done in the past, is opportunity for juniors and seniors, Spanish 3, Spanish 4 students, to teach younger students Spanish, uh, starting with the seniors uh, working with the 4th graders and the juniors doing some presenting with the 6th graders. I'm Noah Hosella and this is Caleb Price. We're juniors at Bethany Christian and we're in Spanish 3 and we're going to be teaching 6th graders some Spanish. Hey, I'm Joseph Mumal. I'm a senior at Bethany Christian Schools in Spanish 4. Something new that Craig started this year in the Spanish program is the Spanish 4 kids who are mostly seniors with two juniors is that we go to the fourth grade classroom and we teach them Spanish just the basics of Spanish and I really enjoy it because it allows me to start to get to know some of the fourth graders to learn their names and when I see them in the hallway they always say hola Joseph hola como estas and we kind of have this interaction between us that we normally wouldn't have. And it also forces me to think about if I was learning Spanish for the first time again, what would I want to learn? What, what would I need to learn? And so it forces me to refine my basics so that I can teach them the basics of Spanish. Another thing that's really great about uh, Bethany Spanish is how we kind of try to apply it even more broadly than just the Bethany uh, and Goshen community. And we have these opportunities to also do some travel. The big one that always comes to, to mind first is this Paraguay experience. Uh, long before I was here, Bethany had a relationship with a sister school in Asuncion, Paraguay. And uh, students would come up here from that school. And by, by exchange, we would also go down and visit them. And so uh, every other summer, we take some time to go to South America, travel around, see where they're living, see their context. And also do, do some touristy things like see the Iguazu Falls. Um, in the Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay border region. So it's a great experience, again, just to, to broaden our worldview a little bit, get outside of, of these walls. Looking forward to with the uh, technology that we have available this year. It hasn't really rolled out yet, but eventually uh, I hope to be able to use the technology to connect our students with uh, students in other countries. You know, one of the neat things about the internet is it really has brought the entire globe right here into our classroom. And so uh, especially the kids who went on the Paraguay J-Term, have connections, have friends already in South America. And so uh, one of the hopes is that eventually this year, as, as we roll these things out and start to figure out how to most effectively use them, is that the, the students can really start to connect with real people, real individuals on the other end, who would be native Spanish speakers.